It's your good friend Ferb Jr. here. I'm going to be uh, playing Minecraft. I'm just starting out my day. It's about noon here in the Intermountain West. And I'm going to be playing some Minecraft while I listen to the scriptures, which is the Old Testament book of Joshua. Let's find out where I'm at. Okay, it looks like we're going for chapter 15 today. So. Let's go over there. Oh, I gotta start it up, I guess. Oh. Chapter 15. Judah is given an inheritance in Canaan. The Jebusites dwell with Judah at Jerusalem. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah by their families, even to the border of Edom. The wilderness of Zin southward was the uttermost part of the south coast. And their south border was from the shore of the Salt Sea, from the bay that looketh southward. And it went out to the south side to Mele Akrabim and passed along to Zin, and ascended up on the south side unto Kadesh Barnea, and passed along to Hezron, and went up to Adar, and fetched a compass to Karkea. From thence it passed toward Asmon, and went out unto the river of Egypt. And the goings out of that coast were at the sea. This shall be your south coast. And the east border was the Salt Sea, even unto the end of Jordan. And their border in the north quarter was from the bay of the sea at the uttermost part of Jordan. And the border went up to Beth Hogla, and passed along by the north of Beth Araba. And the border went up to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben. And the border went up to the river from the valley of Achor, and so northward, looking toward Gilgal. That is before the going up to Adummim, which is on the south side of the river. And the border passed toward the waters of Enshemesh, and the goings out thereof were at Enrogel. And the border went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom unto the south side of the Jebusite. The same is Jerusalem. And the border went up to the top of the mountain that lieth before the valley of Hinnom westward, which is at the end of the valley of the giants northward. And the border was drawn from the top of the hill unto the fountain of the water of Nephtoah, and went out to the cities of Mount Ephron. And the border was drawn to Baala, which is kirjath Jearim. And the border compassed from Baala westward unto Mount Seir, and passed along unto the side of Mount Jerim, which is Kesselon on the north side, and went down to Beth Shemesh, and passed on to Timnah. And the border went out unto the side of Ekron northward, and the border was drawn to Shikron, and passed along to Mount Baala, and went out unto Jabneel. And the goings out of the border were at the sea. And the west border was to the great sea, and the coast thereof. This is the coast of the children of Judah round about, according to their families. And unto Caleb the son of Jephunneh, he gave a part among the children of Judah, according to the commandment of the Lord to Joshua, even the city of Arba, the father of Anak, which city is Hebron. And Caleb drove thence the three sons of Anak, Shishai and Ahiman, and Talmai, the children of Anak. And he went up thence to the inhabitants of Deber, and the name of Deber before was Kir Jath Sefer. And Caleb said, He that smiteth Kirjath Sefer and taketh it, to him will I give Axa my daughter to wife. And Othniel, the son of Kenaz, the brother of Caleb, took it, and he gave him Axa his daughter to wife. And it came to pass, as she came unto him, that she moved him to ask of her father a field. And she lighted off her ass, and Caleb said unto her, What wouldest thou? Who answered, Give me a blessing, for thou hast given me a south land. Give me also springs of water. And he gave her the upper springs and the nether springs. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Judah, according to their families. And the uttermost cities of the tribe of the children of Judah, toward the coast of Edom southward, were Kabziel, and Peter, and Jager, and Kaim, and Amona, and Adida, 
and Kedish, and Hazor, and Ithnan, Ziph, and Telam, and Bealoth, and Hazor, Hadetha, and Kiriath, and Hezron, which is Hazor, Amom, and Shema, and Moladah, and Hazor Gadah, and Heshmon, and Beth Hadet, and Hazor Shul, and Beersheba, and Bezjothja, Baala, and Iam, and Azim, and Eltolad, and Kisel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Madmana, and Sansana, and Labaoth, and Shillam, and Ain, and Rimen. All the cities are twenty and nine with their villages. And in the valley, Eshtael, and Zoria, and Ashna, and Zenoa, and in Ganim, Tapua, and Enam, Jarmuth, and Adullam, Soko, and Ezekah, and Shireim, and Adathaim, and Gadira, and Gadirathaim, fourteen cities with their villages, Zenan, and Hadasha, and Migdalgad, and Dilian, and Mizpah, and Jokthil, Lachish, and Boscath, and Eglon, and Cabin, and Laman, and Kithlish, and Gadiroth, Beth Dagon, and Naama, and Makeda, sixteen cities with their villages, Libna, and Ether, and Ashan, and Jifta, and Ashna, and Nizab, and Kiila, and Axib, and Marisha, nine cities with their villages, Ekron with her towns and her villages, from Ekron even unto the sea, all that lay lo- near Ashdod with their villages, Ashdod with her towns and her villages, Gaza with her towns and her villages, unto the river of Egypt and the great sea and the border thereof, and in the mountains, Shamer and Jatter and Soko and Dana and Kirjath Sana, which is Deber, and Anab and Eshtemo and Anam and Goshen and Holon and Gilo, eleven cities with their villages. Arab, and Duma, and Eshian, and Jana, Beth Tapua, and Afika, and Hamta, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, and Zior, nine cities with their villages. Maon, Carmel, and Ziph, and Jutta, and Jezreel, and Jokdium, and Zenoa, Cain, Gibeah, and Timna, ten cities with their villages. Halhol, Beth Sur, and Gedor, and Meirath, and Beth Anoth, and Eltakon, six cities with their villages. Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jearim, and Rabbah, two cities with their villages. In the wilderness, Beth Arabah, Midden, and Sakeka, and Nibshan, and the city of Salt, and in Gedi, six cities with their villages. As for the Jebusites, the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the children of Judah could not drive them out. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Judah at Jerusalem unto this day. Chapter 16. The children of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh receive their inheritances. Some Canaanites continue to dwell among the Ephraimites. And the lot of the children of Joseph fell from Jordan by Jericho, unto the water of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goeth up from Jericho throughout Mount Bethel, and goeth out from Bethel to Luz, and passeth along unto the borders of Archai to Ataroth, and goeth down westward to the coast of Japhletai, under the coast of Bethor and the Nether, and to Gezer, and the goings out thereof are at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. And the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. Even the border of their inheritance on the east side was Ataroth Adder, unto Beth Horon the upper. And the border went out toward the sea to Michmethah on the north side. And the border went about eastward unto Taanath Shiloh, and passed by it on the east to Genoha. And it went down from Genoha to Ataroth, and to Meirath, and came to Jericho, and went out at Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward unto the river Cana, and the goings out thereof were at the sea. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim by their families. 
and the separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages. And they drave not out the Canaanites that dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwell among the Ephraimites unto this day, and serve under tribute. Chapter 17 Manasseh and Ephraim both receive an additional inheritance. Ephraim is to drive out the Canaanites from the hill country. There was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for make here the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abiezer, and for the children of Helech, and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hefer, and for the children of Shemida. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Machir, the son of Manasseh, had no sons, but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mala and Noah, Hogla, Milka, and Tirzah. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan. Because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Asher to Michmethah that lieth before Shechem, and the border went along on the right hand unto the inhabitants of Antapua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar, and in Asher Bethshean and her towns, and Ibnia and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor and her towns, and the inhabitants of Taanach and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were waxen strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Perizzites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both they who are of Bethshean and her towns, and they who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spake unto the house of Joseph, even to Ephraim and to Manasseh, saying, Thou art a great people, and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only. But the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. For thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Chapter 18 The tabernacle of the congregation is set up at Shiloh. Benjamin receives an inheritance by Lot. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and the land was subdued before them. And there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes, which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are ye slack to go to possess the land, 
which the Lord God of your fathers hath given you. Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coasts on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. And the men arose and went away. And Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land, and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land, and described it by cities into seven parts in a book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel, according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families. And the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. And their border on the north side was from Jordan. And the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward. And the goings out thereof were at the wilderness of beth -Avon. And the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward. And the border descended to ataroth Adder, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether beth -Horan. And the border was drawn thence, and compassed the corner of the sea southward, from the hill that lieth before beth -Horan southward. And the goings out thereof were at kirjath Baal, which is kirjath Jerim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of kirjath Jerim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of Jebusai in the south, and descended to Enrogel, and was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh, and went forth toward Galiloth which is over against the going up of Adunam, and descended to the stone of Bohan the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of Beth Hagla northward, and the outgoings of the border were at the north bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coasts thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, and beth Hogla, and the valley of Kizis, and beth Ereba, and Zemaraim, and Bethel, and Avim, and Pera, and Ophrah, and kepher Haamani, and Ophnah, and Geba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, and Ramah, and Beeroth, and Mizpah, and Kephira, and Moza, and Rechem, and Irpil, and Terela, and Zela, Eliph, and Jebusai, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath, and Kirjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Chapter 19 Simeon, Zebulun, Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and Dan received their inheritances by lot. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. And their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beresheba, or Sheba, and Molida, and Hazer Shul, and Bela, and Azim and Eltolad, and Bethel, and Horma, and Ziklag, and Beth Markaboth, and Hazer Susa, and Beth Lebaoth, and Sheruhan, thirteen cities and their villages, Ain, Remen, and Ether, and Ashan, four cities and their villages, 
and all the villages that were round about these cities to Baaleth Beer, Ramoth of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon. For the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun, according to their families. And the border of their inheritance was unto Sered. And their border went up toward the sea, and Merilah, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jachneam, and turned from Sered eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Kisloth Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabarath, and goeth up to Jephiah, and from thence passeth on along the east to Idikhephir, to Idikazan, and goeth out to Remen Methuar, to Neon. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthah, and Cateth, and Nahalal, and Shemosh, and Idalah, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Kasalath, and Shunem, and Hapharaim, and Shion, and Anaharath, and Rabbath, and Kishion, and Abis, and Remoth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Bethpazes. And the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shehazimah, and Bethshemesh. And the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families. And their border was Helkath, and Halai, and Beton, and Akshaph, and Elamelech, and Amad, and Mishiel, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shihor Libnath, and turneth toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon, and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jephthael, toward the north side of Bethemic, and Naal, and goeth out to Cabal on the left hand, and Hebron, and Rehob, and Hammon, and Cana, even unto great Zidon. And then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre. And the coast turneth to Hosa, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea from the coast to Axib. Amma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali according to their families. And their coast was from Heleph, from Alon to Zaananim, and Adamai, Nekeb, and Jabneel, unto Lakem. And the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Asnath Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Akok, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side, and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fence cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Racketh, and Kinnereth, and Adam, and Ramah, and Hazor, and Kedesh, and Edriah, and Hazor and Iron and Migdalel, Horam, and Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zorah, and Eshtel, and Yershemesh, and Shealaban, and Agilon, and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnatha, and Ekron, and Deltica, and Gibbethon, and Baalath, and Jehad, and Beni Birak, and Gathrimon, and Majarkon, and Rakon, with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan their father.
This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua, the son of Nun, among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked, even Timnath Sirah in Mount Ephraim. And he built the city and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest and Joshua the son of Nun and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel divided for an inheritance by lot in Shiloh before the Lord at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. Chapter 20 Six cities of refuge are appointed for those guilty of manslaughter. Okay, so we're done with that. Just save and quit. Go over to the splash page. I want to say thank you for being here. I'll, close, I'll do my acknowledgments. Got a new couple new followers. Thank you, Jean. Rachel Grace Violin. Pumpkin Face EX. Pumpkin Face X. So I'm grateful that you decided to follow me. And here are the viewers. Another T T V viewer. Industrial Parasite. And let's do this underscore music. Thank you so much for being here. In the chat we had. Hi. Chat. Hi. Just me. So uh, to close with a prayer, dear God in heaven, we are grateful to be here. I'm grateful to have this opportunity to listen to your holy words and please help me to be a better person today than I was yesterday. And bless me that I might have a headache that goes away. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. <laughs>